Hello, my name is Clint Maddox. I'm an instructor here at Oregon State University teaching a class on Introduction to Turfgrass Management for Adults. This class is designed for folks who would like to learn more about turfgrass management, be it a homeowner or somebody who already works in the turfgrass industry and would just like a refresher course on kind of the primary ways that we manage turfgrass and how to manage turfgrass in general. So if you sign up for this class, you're gonna have access to a Canvas website. This is an interactive tool online that's gonna give you access to material that's gonna last over a period of six weeks. We're, we're gonna break this into six different modules. When we dig a little bit deeper into the course material by going to the syllabus, we're gonna be able to break this down into six main topics. We're gonna to be talking about over a period of six weeks, things like in week one, we're gonna talk about how turf grass grows, we're going to be comparing cool and warm season grasses and how to identify turf grass to species. In week two, we're going to be talking about how to select the proper turf grass for your site and how to establish it from seed. In week three, we're going to be talking about how mowing and irrigation affect turf grass health. We're in week four, we're going to be talking about fertilizing turf grass, cultivating turf grass such as managing organic matter, and also overseeding a turf grass site. In week five, we're going to be talking about turf grass pest management. And then finally, in week six, we're going to be talking about calibrating spreaders. We're going to be doing some basic turf grass math, and we're going to be focusing on a lawn care maintenance plan, which will be your final project in the class. Now, this course is going to have some course assessments. You're going to have quizzes that you can take as many times as you like, and you're also going to have a short essay at the end of each week. Now, at the end of each week, I'm going to hand grade these essays and give you personalized feedback. This is a really good way that the instructor, myself, can um, reach out to you, the student. And so you'll be able to have some interaction with me in that way by getting personalized feedback. And in addition, while you are assigned as a student in this class, I'm going to be available to you to either email or we can even set up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call so we can have a conversation about any questions or concerns you may have. So just as an overview of the thing that we're going to be talking about in this class, is this going to be the syllabus? And if you are able to achieve 70% or more of the points, where 200 points total are offered in this class, if you get 140 points, you're going to get a certificate of completion. And so that's going to be something that may be one of your goals for um, this class. So again, we're going to be talking about turf grass establishment, how turf grass grows, how turf grass spreads, the importance of the crown, the growing point of the plant. We're going to be talking about how to use a morphological key to identify turf grass to species. We're going to be talking about things like an oracle, which may be a completely new term for you, but by the end of this class, this is going to be easy for you to understand. We're going to be talking about vernation, and I also use a lot of mnemonic devices in my teaching style. So one thing I like to use is the Tower of Pisa and how that can remind you about which grasses have a rolled vernation. Again, this may be completely new material for you, but this is going to be something you're going to pick up in this class. We're going to be talking about how to select the proper cool season turf grass for sites that are in the shade, sites that are in full sun, sites that are, may or may not have irrigation, and sites that may or may not have a lot of traffic. And so these are really crucial questions that you as a turf grass manager are going to be able to answer at the end of this course to know what's going to be best for your site. We're going to be talking about the three primary cultural practices of turf grass management, how mowing, irrigation, and fertilization affect turf grass health. And so those are going to be really crucial components that you're going to be learning a lot about in this course. We're going to be talking about the three primary pests. We're going to be talking about diseases, weeds, and insects of turf grass. We're going to be talking about how to manage thatch, either through core cultivation, verticutting, sand top dressing, etc. We're going to be talking about how to apply the perfect amount of product to a perfect area. And so in order to do that, we're going to get into calibrating of rotary and drop spreaders. By the end of this class, you're going to know what that little cone is for at the bottom of your rotary spreader in order to get a proper distribution of product over your site. We're going to be also talking about really basic turf grass math. So when you go to your local hardware store and you get seed, fertilizer, or some other plant protectant product, you're going to know that you're applying the right amount to the right amount of area of your site. So with that, there's a great deal of information in this Introduction to Turfgrass Management class. If you have any questions at all, reach out to us here at Oregon State University and we'll certainly be glad to help and lead you to the course that's going to be really interested that maybe you're really interested in.